Hey, this is Fiona, and in this video, I wanted to talk about female creative energy. So, female creative energy is amazing, and it's basically the energy that people in a female body have when they're not making a baby. They can use that energy, and it's right in front of the second chakra, right where the ovaries are, um, right below the belly button. And this energy is basically creative energy that you can use for projects, for community things, for making things, for baking things, for... Oh, there's so many things you can do with creative, female creative energy. And it's uh, probably my favorite energy because I feel like when I run this energy, I feel very invigorated, I feel attractive, I feel happy, I feel excited about life. Um, and I feel like I have all this like passion to like put towards something. Um, it could be like to teach or to go for a bike ride or go play or write a piece of music or go sing or um, create a course or um, make a garden in the backyard or, or bake something or yeah, it's just like this energy is so creative and there's, it doesn't matter what the format is. It just... The, the cool thing is that you feel this like revived energy of creating. So um, what I like to do with female creative energy is I first like to ground my ovaries. So I put my hands on my ovaries. So um, you can see just like right here. So I put my hands on my ovaries and then I'm going to put like a grounding cord on each of my ovaries and it's going to release all the energy that's not... That's not my energy because your energy is what functions best in your body. So close my eyes and you can follow along this meditation. And basically I am, you can rub your hands together and put them on your ovaries. And it's almost like you can kind of feel the energy of your ovaries. So if there's any like energy, you know, that's not yours, you can kind of almost like dust it off. So you can kind of like take the ovary out and like kind of dust it off in a way. Um, and you're just releasing this energy. It's just going down to the center of the planet. And you might even get like a telepathic communication from your ovaries. Like, okay, that one might be sad or one might be angry. Um, and just, you know, listen, this is like about getting in touch with your body. This is about listening to your body instead of just being in the head all day long. Um, so coming back to the body and just saying hello to your ovaries and how do they feel? And you don't need to fix them. You don't need, you just need to listen and just be present. And then, you know, dust off that energy, let it release. Yeah, just watch that energy release. Just a no effort. Just set the energy is, you know, you're just allowing yourself to just exist the way you are. Perfectly imperfect. And allowing that energy just to release down to the center of the planet. And then what I like to do is um, right in front of the ovaries, you can kind of put your hands together kind of like this, you know, but right where your, your second chakra is, um, like, you know, right here, this area. And I'm going to hold my hand there, hold my hands there. And it, this is where your female creative energy is. And so um, you could feel that energy. And I remember during in BPI, Berkeley Psychic Institute, when I went there in my early 20s, um, I remember my female creative energy would get so big, it'd just be like this giant bubble of energy. And you want to put a grounding cord on it and just just kind of postulate, postulate, imagine this this female creative energy. What color is it? What does it feel like? If there's any energy in it that, that feels like it's not your energy, you can just put a grounding cord, you know, on your female creative energy and have that release down to the center of the planet. Hmm. <sighs> Right now, so I see my female creative energy is kind of at a blue color, releasing a lot of energy just the people I've talked to recently, people I've communicated with telepathically, uh, through texting, through social media, just releasing all that energy. And this is like a, you know, you can add this to the normal meditation that you do. Um, I'm just focusing on this one thing, but I usually like to incorporate like my grounding with the center of my head and running my energy, blowing roses, all that stuff, and then also doing the female grounding and the female creative energy. Um, but you can, you know, you can do this just, you know, kind of saying hello to your ovaries, female creative energy, 
And actually you can put a grounding cord on each of the ovaries and connect it down to your main grounding cord and just have that be on release. And so you have your female creative energy in front of you and once it's full, once it's full, and you can actually bring in golden suns, if you want to bring in golden suns to your female creative energy, you can actually use this energy to heal your space. So you might, you know, use this energy, put it, you know, over your, all your chakras, your whole energy field, and just kind of run it through your whole space. And it feels amazing. It just feels like, uh, like your whole aura is like tingling. Don't forget the back of your sixth chakra, seventh. Yeah, just your back channels and you can actually run this energy through your space and it just feels so yummy and just so amazing. So I notice when people are running, you know, if guys are running their male energy, it's very attractive. I feel like when women are in their female creative energy, it's a very attractive energy. Um, and yeah, it's just like you, you don't need that validation externally. It's just all here. You're feeding yourself, you're giving to yourself, you're sharing this loving energy with yourself. And that to me feels more attractive than, you know, the physical. And, you know, I feel like the energy that one inhabits is really what, what, what makes a person attractive. So female creative energy, it's very powerful energy. And this energy is what helps me get projects done, helps inspire me. It's invigorating. It brings more passion to what you're doing. So if you're starting to feel like, I guess, burnout or, you know, not interested in working on anything, just wanting to check out, you might want to check in with your female creative energy. And for men, you know, there is male energy. It's called male energy, but it's, it runs at a different vibration than the female creative energy. So I can maybe do a video on that or can bring someone in to, to talk about male, male, male energy. So thanks for watching. See you in the next video.